Howdy, peeps and peoples. I hope everybody's having a great day. We're doing okay here. Uh, today, I was wanting to show you what we're going to have in the video today. Um, these logs are slick. Stevie's battling slick poplar and gum. Uh, they have got the slickums on them. So, Stevie comes up with a new way of loading, uh, tiny. But me, on the other hand, I end up struggling with a blown traction hose on Brutus. And I had to make me a hose and stuff. But I already had Waddy out of Stevie's yard, which is a good thing. But I was trying to get a drone widget of this whole job. So I end up getting screwed up and didn't get pulled out of here behind Stevie and Roger in time. Or Stevie and Junkie in time. So I'm driving like a man with Waddy, trying to fry my drone out at the same time. But we did end up getting a decent shot of Junkie and Stevie heading out the job and covering the canopy. This is a harder cut section. But uh, let's see what we get into. Joni's sitting. We're heavy to poplar. Bark pill is going on like full force right now. Junkyard's climbing one decent hill. It's got some rock in it. And it's shaking the load of poplar around to where they're wanting to fall out on the ground. Oh boy, Junkyard's gonna knock that tree on me. So, Taylor told me to come up with a way to put these poplar in tiny. Keep on coming, Junkie. That'll work. Tater told me to come up with a way to put these uh, poplar and tiny. Put that guy in that Mack truck again this morning out there. Did you see him? Yeah. The quad junkyard. He told me to come up with a way where these logs will stay in a bit of tiny. I couldn't tell what the name of the door was. To where they quit sliding out. And I think I might have a way. What I said to do is put a a winch on this side of the truck or that side and just sling one of them synthetic ropes up and over and that winches nowadays got them wireless remotes where you sit in the cab and hit the winch with junkyard right and then somebody's got to climb in and out of the truck to unhook the cable and hook the cable up that's going to be aggravating i know you know what i mean boy oh boy could i ever hook put a load of wood on there if we do it like that but i think i'm just going to try physics and see what i come up with so hang on a minute
my ball junkyard out of here and see what happens because up here's the, the hillside that causes the chaos the only thing this is going to be a downfall on is if either side of that stake or that log inside the stake hooks on a tree that's the only downfall to this Harry bumped one. Boy, that one there was close. This is the hill he's losing them on. Red oak ain't a problem. Yesterday I had a load of red oak on there like that without that cross log in there. Come on, junkyard, don't baby it. I don't want him to baby because I want to see where the flaw is. This is gonna work. Oh, this is gonna work. Beautiful. I love it. Love it, love it. All right, so if anybody's interested in my opinion on Velcro butt, sitting on your butt, pushing buttons and cutting timber and running equipment, I love it. It does get aggravating in times because you're sitting on your butt and you don't get the exercise and the mobility like you probably should, but always got to be on your toes and thinking and trying to react and come up with different ways and different methods to make something work. That's what I love about it, but that's my intake on it. Now I'm going to go back up here and pester at Roger. All right, I ain't never put a camera or anything on this cut-up rack while I'm cutting up, so I'm going to try it. Worse than happens, I tear Tater's GoPro up. to be able to haul such good footage on tiny you can't haul 
a bunch of footage to make up the justice of the load with your saw logs. That's where the advantage helps Big Mama up there at the boom as far as getting ahead up there because I haul such multiple big loads by hauling long wood. I put my long wood in the bottom, which has got multiple cuts in it. And then I put that on there as counterweight to help hold my longer wood in. So that's why I'm not cutting all the way down. I could because now I've got time to do it, but it's not gonna gain anything because I can't haul the footage on pre-cut wood like I could with double segment logs or even triple segment logs. I'm gonna see if I can't figure out some way to get you all maybe rigged up on here. Hang on. working and the way the crow flies like <clears throat> less than five miles that direction is a paper mill dom tar paper mill over in hallsville kentucky and you can smell that bleach pump this morning boy does it ever smell delicious as junkyard would say it makes me hungry all right we're gonna see how this one goes
today. Now the reason why, get you straightened up here. The reason why I did not cut them ash up and the reason why I did not cut them beach up is because the bark on the ash in the beach is not slipping very bad at all compared to poplar. And I need the long wood to lay in the bed of tiny to get my transition right. That is the reason why I did not cut them up. Look at all this poplar bark. It's probably three foot thick there. So then there's gonna work out good. Yeah, I've got time to cut them up, but my hoe also needs a grease job. So now I'm gonna head over to the truck and grab a grease gun and grease on it. Now that I'm ahead, here, carry on. Brutus is up to one of his old tricks this morning. I'll blow the daggone track drive hose. <clears throat> I think you're gonna find it ain't Brutus's fault, it's my fault. That was a crimping error. That's what that is. A daggone crimping error. Now that hose had ran at full pressure for a while too before we fix the pressure. So I don't know if the damage might have been done ahead of time. You know. Cause he ain't over pressured now, you know. But either way, it's gonna suck. You know, being down in this suspension like that, it could have been a stick got up in there and really yanked on it. It's hard, kind of hard saying. It won't be too bad. It'll kind of suck, but it won't be the most suck that ever suck. Big Daddy's finishing over there towards where the dark woods is. Uh, this this stuff is, uh, yeah, we're cutting it pretty hard in this area and stuff, but it's turning out really nice. The directional filling I'm real happy with on this part of the sale. Now, if it was choppy, not so happy. Oh, yeah? Roger, you wait your freaking turn. Some days, I don't know about him. A lot of days, I don't know about Roger. Stevie's hard at it. Another project for you, buddy.
rain this morning. It's not real humid here. Or it's not real hot here, but it's very humid. Look at that load. Stevie, I think it's too tall. That's gonna hit the... That's over the rack, ain't it? Oh, maybe not. He's got them slimy, so he's cheating all he can to get them up on there. So junkyard don't lose them. That is on there now. That's the only way I can get that when he goes up that hill. He's got it in there. Yeah. I didn't know if that double decker would work. I figured I'd try it. I got more short wood than I do long wood, so I got to get yeah. that somehow. We're almost a half mile back here. Oh, bring, we're over a half mile. It's either bring a log truck or do something like that. Uh -huh. He's eating his dinner right quick. Yeah, I could have went a little higher, but I'm scared it's gonna want to come out when it goes down the yeah, other no, side of the mountain. Yeah, no, it's climbing. As long as it's hitting the headboard, it can't go nowhere. Yeah. Now that top one will probably walk off. It's got a log behind it, but but on the other side of it there, it'll probably walk off to the right. Okay. That'd be my guess. Oh, he's just pulling out Roger's way. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go put my hose on. They got a ways to go around the uh, the way Roger's facing to the right around there. They got a big circle of trees to get yet. I was thinking, from right there. Over right there, the back line. Just what you're seeing, it's dark right there. It's all I got to go and I'll be done, Bruce. Oh my God, Bruce, come on. I think I'm gonna go ahead and shut this thing down. It's uh, I get the hose changed uh, up in the front. I don't know if I covered or not. I'm just voicing through this thing as I go. Um, I didn't have that hose zippy tied in the front, and I think when I leaned my machine forward, the hose hung out towards the front of the frame, and I ran over something the other day, and a stick got up in there and yanked it out. That's what I'm convinced happened. I'm convinced that I pulled on it, pulled it out. It broke the stick and went on because the piece wasn't caught up in there when the hose blowed. But I'd say it popped a few strands loose to where it about it was ready to blow at, at the first chance it had. So I think that's what ended up being the problem. Now I'll come back the very next video I come back to. I'll get that drone flight coming out here because that turned out pretty cool. So we'll just call this in and do a to be continued because I don't want to run it too long. Look at the way it sticks out the front. Now this teeters forwards and backwards, it's on a hinge. And it gets out there over the front. I, I, I think a damn stick got in there and then I, then I, pull, it pull, I pulled it up, ripped it out. That's what I think happened. Really do, I think that's what happened. All right, Brutus. Let's get back to work, bub. Thanks guys for watching. One thing I wanted to say is everybody out there, do be safe. Please, we all got to go home at the end of the night. There's other people relying on us. So let's not forget that. Thanks, everybody. Have a good one. Hey, guys and gals. Don't forget to go to loggerway.com for all your logging away gear. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> How much you pay me to say that? Man, how much you gonna do?